America's stock suffering as people continue to get ill from an E. coli outbreak traced to their stores this week. Chipotle shares fell to their lowest level in 19 months. Now adding insult to injury, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said it's investigating five additional cases connected to the Mexican fast food chain. Since October, more than 50 people from nine states have fallen ill. So can the chain recover from this crisis in the new year? Let's bring in Howard Bragman, the founder of 15 Minutes PR. Howard, it appears Chipotle is trying to do some major damage control. Well, they clearly need to do some major damage control. You know, I work on crises and controversy, and everybody likes to call everything a crisis. This truly is a crisis. Their, their customers don't have the faith in the product they once did. The stock is crashing. Their sales are crashing. They're really in pain right now. I, I think they will recover because really three factors. One, the CEO is out there talking about it. Uh, he's, he's not hiding. He's addressing this issue. That's number one. Number two, they're making real changes in the way they treat food safety uh, in terms of how they treat their product to ensure this doesn't happen again. And that's really important. And the third thing is the trend line that's going, and that is people want faster, fresher, quick food or or fast food as we call it they've really benefited from the fact that americans are eating healthier than they did five years ago and i think they will survive it and, and the caveat i would throw in there jake is if this keeps being a problem then they're going to have a problem and they're going to have to do a lot of promotions a lot of assurances at the local level and a lot of work on social media to tell customers it's okay to eat here well that's the thing i mean they're out there saying a farewell to gmos our food is healthier and the people are, are getting sick and the question is can customers ever have confidence in the food now let's take a, a look back in the 90s four people actually died after an e coli outbreak linked to jack in the box in 2006 right. taco bell saw its sales slash when it was linked to an E. coli outbreak. What can Chipotle learn from those two companies? How did they regain their customers' trust? Well, it was a very different time then. You have to understand that there was no social media back then. But what they did was they solved the problem very, very quickly. And what Chipotle does is has to address the problem. They have to go above and beyond and make sure that they, they're absolutely transparent in a way you didn't have to be in the 90s, which is why they came out and talked about boiling onions and chopping tomatoes and things that we would traditionally think is minutia. But people kind of want to know that, particularly the foodies out there who are the Chipotle aficionados out there. Uh, the other thing they can learn is they are going to get through this as long as this is the end of it. Um, it if it's rare that these things will kill a company or kill a brand. I think this brand is still very strong. I think they will survive. Now, they're kind of fortunate there's not a lot of competition in the marketplace in that healthy fast food arena. What I think it does do is create an opening for another company to come in and say, Chipotle is having these problems. How can we get our share of that business that's out there? I would say this would be great news for a healthy-ish competitor like Subway, except Subway has not had such a great year because of its spokesman, Gerald Fogel, going to prison for uh, child pornography-related charges. How can Subway get its reputation back? Well, they're very different things. I don't think many people blame Subway for, for Jared's transgressions. Uh, it's one thing, it doesn't say, I'm not going to take my kids there to eat healthy. Um, w when you're actually questioning whether you want to take your kids to this restaurant, is it good for them? That's a, a different problem, and in fact, a bigger problem. And I don't think Subway suffered the same kind of financial losses and the, and the stock hits and the customer loyalty issues. So there is, you know, you can almost always come back. The way you don't come back is not addressing the problem. The problem continues and you look like you don't care. That's not the case here. Chipotle cares a great deal and it's a very critical time okay. in their history. Howard Bragman, thanks so much.